So here comes the video how to mount uh, this freewheel flywheel to uh, such a hoverboard motor and that's just for testing because uh, that's from my solar uh, car I did cut off uh, the up uh, this 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 to mount uh, uh, iron disc with my uh, 22 sprockets and so what you need is uh, this 38 millimeter uh, ho ho uh, circular saw hole saw and uh, 6 millimeter inside and 15 millimeter outside uh, yeah I think 50 millimeter uh, yes and then you simply put this uh, bearing here inside push it down and then you can uh, take a six millimeter uh, bit and drill through so you end up here with a perfect uh, center hole six millimeter and then you can uh, take this uh, circular saw and this is six millimeter a bit here and then drill from here down inside and then you end up with a perfect uh, perfect hole and that's very nice because um, this is a 35 millimeter bearing and um, it's you see it can go over the bearing and so really uh, this is a 34 millimeter but also a bit here in the beginning so this will also uh, go over over a, a, at least one millimeter deeper of a, over the bearing uh, this uh, freewheel has four of these uh, whatever you call them and um, that was a bit of handwork uh, where are we so one was in the middle of the the upper uh, side and one in the middle of the lower uh, space and the other two were right at the edge uh, of from the higher plate to, to the lower one here so it was quite easy to, to find the position and then I used a two millimeter uh, bit to drill right at the edge so one millimeter into from the edge so that this uh, two millimeter was right at the edge and then I wi widened uh, the bit as a two millimeter with a three millimeter bit and in the end I uh, took an iron file and simply uh, wind it a bit and, and so yeah and then simply uh, took a hammer <laughs> hammer and, and pushed it inside it's uh, quite easy because this inner iron here a metal it belongs to to the to the mount here so you uh, should not hammer here on the outside but on the inside it's um, absolutely okay and um, you should uh, drill these uh, holes deep enough so that this uh, free will really can be pushed right onto the the bearing so that it becomes absolutely horizontal or flat and so now you see that's okay And then, oh, you, you, as I said uh, in this uh, previous video, you could simply use epoxy and glue it in because you <laughs> won't uh, really uh, want to change it because now you have a big hole <laughs> in your motor. <coughs> so uh, perhaps a uh, carbon or a glass fiber roving uh, two, two times around, a bit of epoxy would be enough. But you could also, uh, I ordered these uh, bearings with a flange that could go here so to, to keep the freewheel from falling apart so to push it inside it it's but it's uh, the diameter here is uh, it's not exactly uh, 90 millimeter 18 millimeter 0.5 so uh, what's and, and this is very thin and so, so the balls inside are not doesn't look to really to last very long and so I, I simply would should suggest you take here it's a five millimeter inside and 90 millimeter outside so the 90 millimeter outside here 
goes quite nice. Uh, it, it centers a bit because the bearing is, is not, um, the edges are a bit uh, softened. And so here, and, and so this uh, would go into the stator, and the stator already has here, so you only need to drill in here a, a 4.2 or 4.5 millimeter hole and then take a, a to, to make the windings, and, and then you could use a screw to, to fasten uh, this bang to, to the stator. And so you see now if my fingers go like this, then you see. Then you would not need uh, to glue in anything, you could uh, replace it if you wanted. And of course you could now mount uh, the, the motor on the, on, the, uh, on the opposite side as well, because all the, the screw goes into the stator. Yeah, so it, you would have a bit of mm, the, 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 the chain would have to be separated to, to mount it, but uh, well, this might be okay. And so, as I said, this is uh, very nice for uh, for a recumbent bike or a three wheeler. So uh, that the, 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 ch the chain goes here onto the crank and then comes here, goes over the, this and to the to the back wheel so you see if you are pedaling and no motor that's no problem but if the motor kicks in then you uh, could have a motor assistant yeah so this is really don't see any problem that why this should not work yeah, very easy to mount and uh, here in Europe or Germany you only are allowed to have 200 watt of a pedal assisted motor anyway and so with 36 volt this would be a 350 watt and with a 24 volt or 7S lights and iron, uh, this motor would be at um, 200 to 250 watt motor. And that's a previous video where I did calculate the tools and the, the refs and so it's, yeah. Wanted to test it, but um, as I said, I, I'm going for a four wheeler and, and so I do, will not really uh, make a bike, a recumbent bike out of this. That's why I am happy that I still got some some scraps parts that I could use to test this. Okay, bye bye.